After being in the MLS for 11 years, Toronto FC finally brought home a championship cup. Fan gathered in the thousands as they marched down Bay Street in what seemed to be a sea of red. Total, like they say, redemption. Because that was it last year, and I was so devastated. And now, it's come full circle. Pure joy. It's like everyone jumping around. I didn't know who I was standing next to, but they were like all hugging in pure joy. The redemption this week, this year, you give them credit. I think this has broken the drought, and I think there's a lot of positive things for Toronto as a sports city. And bringing the cup here as opposed to the States makes me very proud as a Canadian, too. They were overjoyed once they reached Nathan Phillips Square, and it seemed a stadium sized crowd were in attendance on what Mayor John Tory now calls Reds Day. Happy Reds Day, everybody! Congratulations to the ownership. Congratulations to the great staff, the great management, the coaching staff, but most of all, congratulations to the players who did us so proud on Saturday and throughout a great season. Everyone seemed pleased to receive Toronto FC's head coach who won MLS's Coach of the Year. And we had a motto, and that motto was, they'll remember how you make them feel. So I just have one question. How do you feel? The square erupted after fans received thanks from Captain Michael Bradley. To be in a city where the relationship between the team and the fans and the and the and the city is is like it, it is here, it's so special. The team spirit here today at Nathan Phillips Square was absolutely undeniable as Toronto FC and their fans came out to celebrate the MLS championship. I'm Brett McGarry, Humber News.